Horse on the loose. Ah, Sonia, do you have anything to say about horses in a paddock? <laughs> and now we have a little bit of time to talk about the supplements. Hi guys, welcome to your new Begijnhoeven video. My name is Rob and today uh, I thought it would be interesting to show you what we do with the horses when they have a day off. Uh, quite some people ask us um, what the horses do or uh, why we do it. Um, so I'm going to show you. Um, either way the horses go in the paddock every day. Um, so and then it's good that they can be horsey horse and uh, yeah, it's, it's just good for the horses, uh, especially for their minds. Um, what is also uh, good is that we walk the horses under saddle. So I will show you uh, what we do when we just walk with them. And uh, yeah, many times we also just launch them that they can play a little bit or sometimes they go in the walker. Here Gijs. Eh? Gijs is specialist in the day off. Eh? Yeah, he's very good in it. He never goes in the walker. We only walk with him, but uh, he gets tired quite, quite quickly, hè eh, guys? Yeah. yeah, he's not the most active uh, dog, no. Yeah, and now he's getting shy. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we do with horses. Hello. So Quinten has a day off, for example. Uh, Quinton uh, is now in the paddock. We always make sure he has enough uh, protection around his legs. We also protect his tail because we don't want his tail uh, to be really thin. So we put a braid in his tail. Sonia, do you have anything to say about horses in the paddock? They like it. They like it. They like sunshine. It's very nice information. Huh? <laughs> uh, well, anyway, it's good when you put a horse in the paddock because they can be like a horsey horse and uh, it's, it's good that they uh, don't have so much stress. Um, <laughs> he has uh, now a special halter on. This halter is uh, especially for the stallions that you have a little bit more control when you take them uh, to the paddock or out of the paddock. Um, Yes, and so he can play a little bit, but normally he just wants to attack me. Hello, don't attack me. Yeah, you're a little bit like your dad. Crazy bugger. Okay, I'm gonna leave you now, because you attack me all the time. We also do some hand walking, uh, because here the stud farm is uh, quite um, extended, or how extensive, how do you call it? Um, uh, you have to walk quite a bit to get to from point A to point B. Uh, now we're going to walk to the walker, and then you have also you, uh, you already had a walk when you go to the walker, so <laughs> that's a good combination. Um, it's just good for the horses that they uh, can have some exercise, of course, because when you put them in the stable all day, uh, it's not so good when you uh, want to do um, some some sports. And she loves me. So Karma is in the walker now, uh, we have an oval walker, um, we have that because, well, we have to squeeze the walker in a building <laughs> and this way you can uh, put uh, eight horses in the walker instead of uh, four or six because if you have a circle you have less space of course. And uh, the plus side here is also when they have to go straight and then make a corner, it's better for the joints uh, for the horses, so always making circles is less good of course. Uh, which, what is also really good in this walker is that you can adjust the speed, like you can in every walker, but it's more safe here, because you, you can go straight as well. And you can adjust the speed to the horse, so if you really want to use the walker for training, you have to look to your horse and see if the um, walk is very active or not. So in the, when the walk is really slow, you don't uh, exercise anything. And when you adjust the speed to your horse, that see that they, yeah, they barely trot or walk. You know that just before they start trotting, they uh, really have to um, uh, 
uh, they really get that exercise and it's really good for their uh, hindquarters. Uh, so we sometimes use this for horses that are like uh, a little bit weak or really young and still growing and that kind of stuff. So a walker is not only just put them in there to uh, to have uh, 15 days, uh, 15 minutes of uh, that you can clean the stable or something, but it's also really good uh, as an exercise. And sometimes people uh, forget it, I think. So when the horses have uh, a longer time off and they have an injury or when they're growing or something, um, in this case we put them together with Atje. When they're in the field for a longer time we don't want the horses to be alone. So um, when in this case a mare doesn't have a buddy so we don't have another mare in the field for a longer time. We have Atje now and uh, it go it's going really well. It's like a really good uh, pony because he's friends with everybody. Um, yeah, it's just a very good thing and when you have a field it's, it's, it's nice uh, that you can put the horse in there for a longer time. Um, so yeah, now this horse is now in the field for a month or something or a little bit longer. Um, she's going to be a surrogate mare for uh, the next year because uh, she had an injury that took uh, longer than we expected. Um, so now it's a mare, thank God, so it will be a surrogate mare, so we get a fall from her anyway and then next year we will uh, pick up uh, the work again. And uh, yeah, let's hope it's, it's going uh, better. And now she's enjoying the field with Atje. Good morning. Good morning, it's in English, oh. Miriam. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, fluently. Yes, <laughs> I am Miriam uh, yeah. from uh, Miriam Horse Products. And uh, I am here with Rob because today... Our yeah. horses have a day off, so uh, it's not so busy. So Mirjam knows this, of course, so she smelled the coffee. Oh, and we have a nice cappuccino. <laughs> and now we have a little bit time to talk about the supplements and yes. how to feed the horses. And yeah, yeah go on, go on. Also to make very them, important. Uh, yeah. To make them the, like champions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Miriam, I have a question because that's, that's a problem for many people. Uh, when the horses are a little bit nervous, that many times happens, and when they have a day off, they, they are afraid to put them in a the paddock or to do anything with them. Have you, do you have something to keep them a little bit more at ease? Relaxed, yes. Relaxed. Yes. Yes, of course, we have the Nutricam. Yeah, it's that a works really well actually. Supplement with uh, magnesium and uh, tryptophan. And uh, that really helps the horse to, uh, that they are a little bit relaxed in the paddock. Yeah. 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 And if you just give the magnesium itself, is that different than when you give the Nutricam? Because I heard many people, oh, I give them a Nutricam, in there is magnesia, so then no, I fix it, but it's different, yeah. right? The Nutricam is much stronger, it's with uh, amino acid tryptophan, and that uh, brings the, the heart, stuff. that's uh, really the, heavy stuff, the stuff but that, but you <laughs> need, that you need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also you, Rob. <huh? laughs> uh, yeah, oh, I take a lot of tryptophan. Ah, but not on <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, we're going to drink more coffee and okay. we're going to walk a few Have horses. Bye-bye. <laughs> So I did some walking with uh, Heros and now with Fabiola. Um, when I was on Heros the battery was low so <laughs> we stopped filming. Great. Uh, oh, Fabiola. Um, what you maybe saw with, with Heros and especially with her is that uh, with, when I do the walking I try to uh, have control over the walk. So I mean I do the transitions in walk so we uh, make her go forward and a little bit go back. You saw maybe with Heros that in the beginning he doesn't make a connection so he's a little bit behind the bit sometimes. So therefore I do the walking that he's accepting my hand and walking towards my hand. 
so then he's more over the back and I still have control then over his walk. So then if I have the right connection, I can make him go forward and go back a little more. Uh, what I also do when I do just some walking is just make them look a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, that they still are soft in my hands. Um, yeah, that's a very good stretch, I think, and it's, yeah, you don't, um, they don't have to use their body so much, so you, it's not uh, that, they, uh, that they don't rest or something, so they, they are still very fit the next day or maybe even more because they are really loose and, and stretched. Um, so I really think it's a very good um, exercise to do it once or twice a week that you just do some walking and yeah just don't forget to um, that it's that it's kind of difficult and that you should use it to do like uh, oh horse on the loose. Ah stop it stop 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 <laughs> So when you do some uh, walk exercises, uh, just don't think it's just walking and just uh, whatever. Uh, you can also do it with lots of control, with transitions, they have to accept a bit. You can do from walk to halt or maybe a little uh, backwards as well. Uh, it's a very good training, it's a very good exercise, you have lots of control. Um, they uh, don't get tired or something, so uh, it's very good as, uh, for a day off. And they still uh, get a nice stretch and uh, it's very good for their head, as, for their mind as well. So you can do it in the forest or as we do it on the canter track. Or as I do now, as you can hear, you do it on, the, on a hard surface. Um, yeah, I think it's a very good thing to do and, um, and the next day uh, you get the benefits of it. So guys, this is what we do when our horses have a day off. Um, yeah, as you can see, you can still uh, do lots of stuff to keep them uh, supple and still uh, very fit for the next day. Um, so I hope you liked this video. If you do, leave a thumbs up or a comment and don't forget to subscribe. See you, bye bye.